And here are today's newlyweds. This couple became husband and wife 17 months ago, Marvie and Dion Walker. Our next couple marched down the aisle 22 months ago, Melissa and Tom Leibel. This couple sliced their wedding cake 11 months ago, Shannon and Anthony Karsha. And our final couple traded vows 19 months ago, Caroline and Cliff Thompson. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks. Hey! Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. I want you to meet my four couples. You're ready to play, I assume. Oh, yeah. All right. Got a great second honeymoon for one of our four couples today. So in order to get started, we must ask the ladies to go off to the soundproof room, if you would, please, ladies. Hey, gentlemen, in round one, I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you get five points. And also remember that it's the one couple with the most points at the end of the show that wins a fabulous second honeymoon. So the ladies are gone, and here's your first question for five points. Tell me, gentlemen, how many pounds will your wife say she should lose or gain if she wanted to appear on Baywatch? <laughs> hey, Cliff! <laughs> What's oh so funny, Cliff? Um, I have to go home with her tonight, so I'm going to say 10. 10 what? Lose ten. or gain? Lose 10 pounds. She needs to lose 10 pounds. Yes, sir. She would look okay at 10 pounds off in a Baywatch bathing suit, Well, huh? she looks okay now, but she'd look better if she uh, lost 10 you pounds. you big <laughs> chicken. Tom. I would have to say five. Lose or gain? Uh, lose five pounds. She needs to lose five pounds. All right, Dion? Lose 15 pounds? Lose 15 pounds. <laughs> It's all right, ladies. Why are you She's applauding pregnant. down there, Cliff? I saw his wife. Anthony? Uh, I, I'm going to side with uh, Cliff, I think. I'm going to do a uh, 10 pounds also. Uh, lose or gain? Lose, lose. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. The very last time you gave your wife the chills, will she say they started at her top and worked their way down, or they started at the bottom and worked their way up? Last time you gave her the chills, Tom, where'd they start? Um, I'd have to say from the bottom up. They start from the bottom, worked their way up. Dion? Mm -hmm. From the bottom up. Bottom up, Anthony. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go top down. Top down. Yeah. Okay, Cliff. Bottom up. You remember, huh? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Next question, gentlemen. Which of your wedding guests will your wife say gave her the greatest competition for attention on your wedding day? The on first name only, please. Who would that be? Tina. Tina did. Tina. I think that's a safe guess. Oh, you think so? You guys I are so. such, I, I can't, you guys wear pants, why? You're so afraid of these ladies. Anthony. I'm going to say um, Amber. Amber, yes, all right, yes. good. Cliff. Uh, Liz. Liz. That right. would be Tom. Liz. I'd have to say Shelly, her Go sister. Go ahead, Shelly. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll be right back to reunite the newlyweds. We'll see how well our husbands have predicted what their wives will say. Well, that's what we've got Love Family Feud? Love Plinko? Hate the whammy? Now you can play your favorite buzzer games anytime. Just go to buzzertv.com and then select play. Have fun and let's play.
Welcome back, everybody. Okay, gentlemen, we recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them in front of you. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show is going to win a fabulous second honeymoon. And girls, if you win, you don't have to take your husbands because they're big chickens. <laughs> First question, ladies, how many pounds would you say you should lose or gain if you wanted to appear on Baywatch? I mean, Shannon, I mean, have you seen the bikinis these girls wear? Whoo-wee! Um, I think that I should lose 25 pounds. Lose 25 pounds? Yeah, he said the same thing, only he, he didn't, but he said, no, I'm too chicken, I can't say it. Oh, so no. Anthony said, you should only lose uh, 10 pounds. Oh, oh. Boy, I know that's a lie. Yeah, he was lying. You can tell his nose is growing. Uh. Yeah. Marvie. I go with 20 pounds. Lose or gain? Lose. Lose. Yes. All right. Your husband said that you should lose uh, 15 pounds. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Try not to throw up at home, okay? <laughs> Melissa! Um, I would have to say lose 10 pounds. You should lose 10. Your husband said in order to be on Baywatch, you should only lose five. Yeah. Uh, Caroline? Oh, gosh. I'll have to say at least 20. You should I've, lose 20? Yeah, I've been trying to lose a lot of weight, and I keep complaining. How's it going? Not too bad, but do you, I... Do you wear those little string bikini things? Not until I lose another 20 pounds. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Cliff said that you should lose uh, 10 pounds. All you should lose. You see what I mean, so ladies? Sweet. They were just big chickens. <laughs> Next question, ladies. The very last time your husband gave you the chills, would you say they started at your top and worked their way down, or they started at the bottom and worked their way up? The last time, Marvy, he gave you the chills. Where'd they start? The top and you worked his way down. Is that right? He <laughs> said they definitely started at the bottom and worked their way up. Hey! <laughs> oh. Oh. That wasn't too long ago. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Melissa, did, last time he gave you the chills. I would have to say top to bottom. They started at the top and worked their way down. He said definitely they started at the bottom worked their way up. What are you talking about? I've never given chills from the top to It's always from your feet. Are you guys married? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, somebody get some points. Caroline. Um, okay, bottom worked their way up. Bottom worked their way up. He predicted you would say, yeah! <laughs> Jenny. Okay, he's very systematic. He's a big got word a for a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> he's systematic. Yeah, so yeah. it's the top to the bottom, I'm going to think. You for think? The chills. Yeah. yeah. Well, you should know. Yeah, that's yeah. what Does I'm Does he give you chills with. often? Yeah, yeah. He does. <laughs> All right, he said they started from the top and worked their way down. Yeah. <laughs> Next question, ladies, tell me. Which of your wedding guests would you say gave you the greatest competition for attention on your wedding day? Hey, Melissa? I would have to say my brother, Tony. Tony. Now, you know what your husband said? He said that uh, Shelly gave you a lot of competition. What? My sister? Well, she's always, you know, helping, every, helping you out and making sure everything went okay. Yeah. No. Caroline. Oh. Hurry, please. I have to say his parents. His parents, all right? Now, he predicted you would say, no, it was, Car it was Liz. Liz gave you competition. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Shannon. I'm going to say, I, I don't know her name. This cousin of Anthony's who was smoking in the bathroom, and I started screaming at her and because there was supposed to be no smoking. She can't even smoke in the bathroom? No, because my dress, I didn't What about your dress? Were you changing the dress in the bathroom? No, but there were like eight people holding up my dress while I went well, to that's a little bathroom. weird. <laughs> I know, because it was big, so... Oh. And then so, she was smoking, and I started Well, I need a name. Um, that cousin? That cousin. <laughs> Anthony said, no, it was Amber that gave you the competition. Oh, my niece. She yeah. Like, Marvie. Oh. I was thinking the same thing. My niece, Janelle. Janelle, he predicted you would say it was Tina. Tina? Tina. Why Tina? There's like 13 people at the I wedding. Know, hey, we'll be back to see how well the wives can predict what their husbands will say right after these messages. <laughs>
Welcome back, everybody. Ladies, now your husbands are all secluded off stage, and maybe they'll stay there. Now it's your turn to predict what they will say, and remember, each of these questions will now be worth 10 points. First question, ladies, will your husband say he thinks about sex most when he's eating a sandwich, watching TV, or working out? When does he think most about sex, Melissa? Eating a sandwich, watching TV, or working out? I would have to say watching TV. When he's watching TV, he thinks about sex. Yeah, because he doesn't work out. No. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Yeah. Marvy, what do you think? When does he think about sex? When he's eating a sandwich, watching TV, or working out? Watching TV. When he's watching television, he thinks about sex. There's a lot of stuff in there that he sees. What, what, uh, was it Pink Panther, stuff like that? What does he watch? Oh, he watches those. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that devil. <laughs> Shannon. I'm going to say when he's eating, because after he eats every time, he says, oh, baby, and then he always is oh. all over me after a good meal. Oh, baloney breath, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, Caroline? When he's watching TV. When he's watching TV, he thinks about sex. <laughs> yeah. Next question, ladies. If you and your husband were dogs, let's pretend like the two of you were dogs, who will he say would be better at catching the balls in their mouth? If you were dogs, Marvy? Me. You would be better? You say me. Okay. Yes. Huh. You better say me. <laughs> Shannon. Definitely. You're dogs. Yeah, yeah. Definitely me. You? He, yeah. Huh. I would. How about frisbees? Everything with. Yes. Really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline. Me. You'd be better at catching the ball in the mouth, okay? Melissa? I would have to say me too. Me too. Okay. Next question, ladies. How will your husband say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. When it comes to most things, I definitely wear the pants in this marriage. But when it comes to what, my husband may as well wear a dress. <laughs> Boy, is that question ever apropos for this group of guys. <laughs> so, when it comes to most things here, Mr. Shannon, you wear the pants in the marriage. But when it comes to what, your husband might just as well wear a dress. Uh, I'm going to have to say when it comes to washing the dishes. Washing the dishes, he might as well wear a dress. Yeah, he's really good at it. He's really good. Yeah, he's good at it, and uh, I kind of thought the... so. Caroline? <laughs> um, painting his car. Pardon me? Painting his car. Painting his car? Painting his car, he might as well wear a dress. He's You're really trying so to win this game, long. aren't you? Yeah, OK. <laughs> Melissa? Um. I would have to say he throws tantrums worse than my daughter. When it comes to throwing a, t the big baby throws a tantrum? <laughs> big one. Does he, what does he do? Oh, Get down yeah. on the floor and kick, or what does he do? Uh, runs out of the room stomping. Stomps out. Throwing his hands up in the air. Lip comes out. Oh, yeah. Does he do, let me see what he look like. Wait. He's just like. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know, he's just like. Big old baby. Dion? Um, losing, losing at anything. When it comes to losing, yes, he's, he, he might as well wear a dress. Yes, he's a baby. He's a baby, He's yeah. a real competitor, so if he loses... Oh, really uh, makes him mad. All right, 25-point yes. bonus question. Ladies, how many shaves will your husband say he usually gets from a disposable razor? How many shaves, Caroline? Two. Two. Melissa? I'd say two. Two. Marvy? Two. Two. Shannon? One. Thank you. All right, we'll be back with the husbands to compare answers on the Newlywed Game. Right after these messages. <laughs> Get ready for a super mini marathon of super proportions as Super Password takes over the fun. Super Password, it's like regular password, just with a tiny little cape. Stay tuned.
Welcome back, everybody. Two of our couples, couples have scored five points. Two of our couples are yet to score any points, but we're going to see if they can catch up right now. Gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. And again, I'll remind you, these are the 10-point questions. And here's the first one. Gentlemen, would you say that you think about sex most when you're working out, eating a sandwich, or watching TV? What do you think about sex most, Dion? When you're working out, <laughs> eating a sandwich, or watching TV? I'm ready for this one. Got this Bob. one. Ready. What is it? Watching television. What? No doubt. How come? Because what's on the screen? What's on the screen? <laughs> Those special shows. <laughs> you don't watch that porno stuff, do you, on TV? Yeah. My mom may be watching. I do not. <laughs> Your mother made you watch it? No. Your mother watches porno stuff too? Hey, don't talk about my mama. Huh? Don't talk about my mom. No, no, I'm just asking. No, I said I can't, I don't want to reveal. Well, but we, you know. mom, your mom already knows that you watch porno on TV now. Well, thanks, Bob. That's all right. <laughs> I'm trying to help you out. Marvie <laughs> said it definitely is when you're watching TV. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Tom, what do you think about sex? When you're working out, eating a sandwich, or watching TV? Well, the best answer would be TV. Okay, TV. She said the best answer is when you're watching television. All right. Cliff. TV. Watching TV. Anthony, what's your answer here? Uh, my answer is when I'm eating. When you're eating. All right. She said it's definitely when you're eating a sandwich. Right. Yeah. Big old weenie sandwich. <laughs> Gentlemen, think about this. If you and your wife were dogs, who would be better at catching balls in the air? Two of you are dogs. Who would be better at catching the balls in the air? Tom? Uh, I would have to say me. You, sure. She's okay. a klutz. Pardon me? She's a klutz. She's a klutz. <laughs> All right. Ooh. She said definitely. I hope you're not catching balls. No, right she would. <laughs> she would be better. About. Huh. <laughs> Cliff. Oh, I definitely would, Bob. You'd be better. Oh, you oh. bet. I, I knew you'd say that. How'd you know that, Bob? Well, because I just knew you well, would. Well. Because you're probably more athletic than she is. Yeah, yeah. I would say so. And you'd make a better <laughs> dog ball catcher there. Well, thing. I'd make a better yeah. puppy dog than she Yeah, would, yeah. sure. All right. Caroline said definitely she would be better. <laughs> Anthony, what do you think about this? Yeah, I, I think this is where we uh, pull ahead of the pack here. <laughs> well, I certainly hope so, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, I know the real answer, and Just I know what she Just give me the damn answer, <laughs> <laughs> the, the answer is, she would be better. Thank you very much. <laughs> she said the answer is, she would be better. Yes, okay. <laughs> Why are you applauding? <laughs> I'm ready for this one. <laughs> oh, you're ready for this one? Who We're would be roll. better? We're on a roll. Okay. I won't say the wife is clumsy. I'll no. say I am more athletically inclined. So you are better then. Absolutely. Yes, I am. Okay. I knew you would say that too. I am. Marvie better. said for sure. Congratulations. She would be better. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no, 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 yeah. No. Talk to the hand. That's it. Talk to the hand. <laughs> Just talk to the hand. Yeah, you were going to pull ahead there. You're still in last place, man. Gentlemen. How would your wife complete this sentence? This is her talking. She said, when it comes to most things, I, meaning her, she definitely wears the pants in this marriage. But when it comes to what? My husband may as well wear the dress. <laughs> Cliff, she wears the pants in the family, which is obvious. But when it comes to <laughs> blank, you might as well wear a dress, big guy. When it comes to cleaning the house. Cleaning the house. All right. She said, when it comes to Painting your car, you might as well wear a dress. <laughs> Anthony, she's the boss. She wears the pants in the marriage. Could have told you that earlier. Yeah, yeah. But when it comes to what, you might as well wear a dress. Uh, most things. No, just give, no, Anthony, <laughs> Anthony, <laughs> pin it down to one. Oh, uh, jeez, uh, uh, cooking. Cooking, thank you very much. She said when it comes to uh, washing the dishes, oh. you might as well wear a dress. That's what you oh, do. That's what I do. Yeah, you should know that. <laughs> Dion, this is your chance. Dion, this is it, man. This is your chance to kind of 
You know. <laughs> Do you feel it coming, Bob? You I feel, feel it coming, it coming man. I know it's about to Here happen. Comes. Woo, Here it comes. Here it comes. What is it? Grooming myself. Grooming, Grooming yourself. My <laughs> oh, self. Anthony. Anthony, this is not good. <laughs> this is not good. She says when it comes to uh, when it comes to losing what you're doing right now, <laughs> you might as well wear a dress. <laughs> You're right. Right. You're right. You're right. Tom, right. when it comes to what, you might as well wear a dress. Doing housework. Doing housework. She said, when it comes to, no, throwing tantrums, you big baby. <laughs> Before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Kramer. You're going to beautiful Jamaica. <laughs> You'll stay at Beaches, the ultra all-inclusive active resort for everyone, singles, families, and couples, too. Part of the Sandals Resort family, these island paradises offer luxurious accommodations, gourmet dining, entertainment for adults and kids, and so much more. Beaches, where everything is included for everyone. And round-trip airfare provided by Air Jamaica, non-stop champagne flights on the newest fleet in the Caribbean. Red carpet check-in and complimentary beverages on every flight. Air Jamaica, back to you, Bob. Thank you, John, very much. Okay, gentlemen, 25-point bonus question. Gentlemen, how many shaves, how many shaves would you say you usually get from a disposable razor? Now, let's go to couple number two. Dion and Marvy with 10, 25 would give you 35. Dion, truly, man, this is it. I mean, with 25 points added to your 10, you oh, yes. can go from last place to first place. I mean, I feel it coming now. This I feel it, it just... <laughs> You know, I mean, you can do it, man. This has yeah. got to be it. Concentrate, this mental got telepathy. To be it. How many shaves do you get from a disposable? Two. Two. She said, two. Yeah. Okay. All right, couple number three. Tom and Melissa with 1025. We give you 35. If you get it right, you're tied for the lead. If you miss it, you go home in last place and you can really throw a tantrum if you want to. <laughs> I think I might. I would have to say two also, Bob. Two. She said two. All right. All right, couple number four, Cliff and Caroline with 15, 25 gives you 40. Cliff, if you get it right, you will be in first place. If you miss it, you go home in last place. Kind of makes you itch, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah. <laughs> two. Two. She said two. Yeah. All right. Well, couple number one. Come on, Anthony. I'm rooting for you, guy. You got 25 points. If you get it right, you and your wife are going on a fabulous second honeymoon. If you miss it, you literally go home in last place, disgraced among your children-to-be and all of your relatives and neighbors and your work peoples and all of that stuff. Okay. What's your answer, Anthony? Uh, hairy Italian guy, I'm saying one. One. She said one. <laughs> Anthony and Shannon, you're our newly one game grand prize winner. Congratulations, you guys. Thanks for our couples. Thanks for your home. I'm Bob Eubanks. We will see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.